Greetings and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Um, about a week ago I got a question from Ahmed Majed or something like that and he says Hello Ben, if you can help me, I want to put video at the beginning of the game. For example, when I open the game the video will show after that the game will open. So, play movie and play game. Um, now, I haven't done this before, uh, so this isn't, you know, the most optimal way to do it. Uh, as of now, I do not know how to do this exactly the way you want it. But I will show you how to make moving images <laughs> play uh, as soon as you start the game. Uh, and you might remember this tutorial where we created this uh, in-game screen and then when you get close enough you turn it on and then when you step away you turn it off so I'm gonna use as you can see the same uh, tutorial files as I used then and we will use this video clip uh, to flash as soon as we start the game so if you wanna see this first then click here and then come back here or just pay attention right now so what I can say is that this video file is an AVI and that's the only kind of file I've gotten to work with uh, this media player there might be others but I don't know um, so, what we will do now is simply create a, a widget, not a midget, <laughs> widget blueprints, and I will just call this um, begin play movie. So, in here, I will drag in an image, and it should fill the entire screen. like this and then in appearance on the brush image we will find the video you want which for me is called Zuby first walk now this is already created in the in the other tutorial where we uh, created um, material from this media player yeah watch that tutorial if you want to know how um, so now it's here and that should be okay. Next thing is go into level blueprints. Here we can see the blueprints for that in-game movie. Now we will have a find an event begin play. Okay. Then we will create a widget namely the one we just created begin play movie then we will add to viewport connect this target to that one so it knows what it want to play and then drag another one out here and take remove from parent and in between here we will insert the movie so it's uh, probably okay to find uh, oh, rewind. No, we need to drag this out. Rewind. Not huh? really. Yes, here you go. So just uncheck the context sensitive and take media player rewind. And the target will have to be uh, media player set media player no 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 media player is it the texture no movie then get movie variable and this variable that's the same variable we created in the last tutorial. 
So if you don't have a variable for it, you won't be able to do it. And as we can see here, uh, it is the Zuby walk to. So here you will see all your different media players. Now, the reason we take rewind as soon as we add it to the viewport is because if we didn't take rewind and just to play, it would simply start playing whenever, you know, while in, uh, in this. So if you have play here, it will just start wherever it was. But by taking rewind first, it rewinds to the start before it plays. And of course, this isn't, uh, this is really not a perfect way to do it. So this won't know for how long it should play before removing from the viewport. Um, so we will have to watch your movie clip and, you know, count the seconds. And as we can see, it's, yeah, 10 seconds. So let's try that. So we will drag out from rewind and take a delay and then put in 10. So then it rewinds, plays it for 10 seconds and then the widget is removed from the viewport. Uh, and of course connect remove from parent to the widget so it knows what to remove. Then compile. Okay, so let's play and see. So, you know, this is, this is what you get. And then it plays. And then you're in game. So then. So that's it, you know, there's no sounds here, no music, no anything. Uh, so what you could do if you had like a separate uh, sound file then you could add that right after the rewind rewind I guess and just take play sound you know at location then it would and then just select it and it would start playing I assume I haven't tried it but I assume right as this happens so yeah you know, I know this isn't perfect, and I wish I knew a better way, but at least it might point you in the right direction. So, but if I find out how to actually implement an actual movie with music and everything, then I will create a new tutorial. So, you know, hope it helped. Have a great day.